for you to hit that milestone? I mean, um, I you know I don't really focus on that. I just focus on doing what I can uh, for my team, and I just play my role. And tonight my role was to attack, and I was getting foul called, fouls called, and uh, you know just try to do what the coaches wanted me to do. And in the first half, you guys got down a little bit, but it wasn't ever like you're out of the game, and it was consistently. I think the momentum, even though you were down mm -hmm. at one point, was in your favor. How do you kind of swing the momentum like that? Uh, well, we knew that we were going to win. I mean, we, we went in at halftime. I know it sounds funny because we were down by a lot, but we knew we were going to win. We just needed to step it up and crank up our defense. And, you know, on, offensively, we we're, were doing okay. So we just needed to crank up our defense, and we knew we could. So that's what we did in the second half. And you're coming down to the wire here. Any thoughts going in towards the end of your season? Uh, we just need to focus on getting better, and we haven't peaked yet as a team. Um, so what we're really just looking to do is peak at the right time, and the right time is going to be conference tournament time, which is two games away. So we're just going to focus on getting better these last two games and then peak, peak at the conference tournament. B, how much did this feel like You know, back in January? Y'all did that probably way too much for Coach Storr's happiness, but you got down big and came back in the second half. How much did y'all draw in some of those early conference games? Well, uh, we haven't really – played a full 40 minutes of basketball yet so you know we know we can get better and we know that uh, you know if we play a full 40 minutes we're gonna be really really tough to beat so we don't want to get down in the conference tournament though because we're looking to play all those 40 minutes